G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. I'm going to do a updated video on how to get a free ship and in particular any free ship that you want. So I'm going to do some testing on this one. I've seen a few videos. I'm updating an older video of mine. So this is something I have done before and I just wanted to give you some better, I guess, tips and advice in regards to the mechanics on how all this works. I started off on a really easy system. Everyone has been or seen a Cheyenne. So this is not something for a high level player. Anybody can come here. So we're going to test this uh, theory out. I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter what the level is. There are things that you should probably know first up though. Make sure that you have got your piloting skill maxed out. You don't want to be stealing a ship from the surface of a planet and finding out you can't sit in the cockpit. So I have a video on that. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure that you get that ranked up. It is really easy with the video that I've shown you and how to do that. The next thing is sometimes you're going to get the odd ship that requires you to pick a lock. So you may need that from time to time but it, look it isn't super important it's happened to me once every now and then but i just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of that now i wanted to point out there's a few tips and tricks uh, along the way as well so i'm going to cover a few things in regards to the mechanics of how the ships spawn and the way that you can use certain elements of the game to get any ship you want i'm also going to show you some tips uh, on how to take the ships and board them and also once you've taken the ship uh, a few little tips and tricks inside the ship as well that some people are missing as well all right so we're going to head to Cheyenne I picked a particular place here this is just a barren moon uh, the reason for that is I think the less uh, things that you have on the moon or planet they seem to get more ship spawns that's just my theory and I've said you know that from the, the older video as well I think it just works better but it doesn't have to be if you do do this on a different planet uh, the main thing is that you get what I'm going to show you next and that is an auto save when you land so I'll show you how that works when we get down there now like I said when you do land on a planet or a moon in your ship when you exit you are going to get an auto save so this is going to happen if you do exit your ship and you get a ship landing and it's not the ship you're after you can use that auto save and i'll show you how all right so we've landed we got our auto save now we're listing out for ships uh, it looks like we've got one over here so we're going to head on over to that ship see what it is and then i'm going to show you how to use the auto save to get any ship you want now this ship looks like it's going to be a uc ship so we'll head on over there and have a look first just so i can show you how that all works Okay, we were on our way over there and we have another ship landing. Now that ship there is definitely a UC ship, I'm pretty sure, but this one is definitely not. So we're gonna head this way. This is definitely a pirate ship. Now if you take a bearing of where your ship is and notice that it's landing towards the back of the ship, these particular type of ships are notorious for flying away. And you can see I've got the same ship. And so it's really hard to capture this one sometimes. All right, you can see it just flew off. So what we're going to do is we've got a landing pad over here and we have a ship landing pad over there. Now we don't want either of these. Well, we wanted that ship, but it's gone. But that ship over there, I'm pretty certain we don't want. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to reload the auto save that we got when we exited the ship. All right, so we had two ships this time. We had one, you can see it's landing now. We know where that's landing, it's straight over here, so we're going to head that way straight away. It just happens to be one of those kind of like pirate ships as well. It's nice and close, so hopefully we will get there in time. But you can see that it's the exact same landing spot, it's just a different ship this time. This particular ship is notorious for taking off. All right, you want to go straight in. You want to ignore the ecliptic. And you can see that this one is a Claymore 2. It's, uh, and it is not accessible for some reason. So that will happen, unfortunately, from time to time. So you can see it's taking off. This ship is really hard to get. 
If you manage to get one of these in space and board it, go for it. It is a really good ship. It's the one I'm using at the moment. I've upgraded mine. All right, so we did have another ship landing spot over there, and you can see there is actually a ship there. So this particular autosave is reaping us two ships with each re-roll of the autosave. So we can run over to that one and have a look and see what that is. All right, when you do get close to the ship, you can bring out your scanner before you get there and see what sort of ship it is. Uh, thresher. I don't think I've come across a Thresher before. I've got a feeling this is going to be a colonial ship. And yeah, it is. So these guys, uh, we don't want to kill these guys I'm in with the UC, so we don't want to take this one. But this one could be taken. So you, uh, you can see, there you go. So you can see this one is locked. So this is an advanced lock. This is going to happen from time to time, so if you are looking to steal ships, this will happen. It's very, very rare, but it will happen. So that one is a locked ship. You could get in there and steal this if you wanted to, but these guys, I don't want to upset my uh, companion here. She'll get annoyed if I kill anybody, so we won't do that today. But we'll re-roll that autosave again, and we'll see what we get on the next re-roll. Okay, we've re-rolled the autosave, so we should have another ship landing where we said we could check that location. There's nothing there at the moment. This one is definitely a UC ship. That's the long sword, I'm pretty sure. So we're not going to bother running over there for that one uh, because we can't take it. But you can see that the re-roll system's working. We've got a number of different ships so far. If the re-roll worked properly, we should be getting another ship uh, this way. We do know there's another landing pad this side, so we're going to head this way. And there we go, right on target, we have another ship landing, and we, we already know where the landing pad is, so we can just head that way straight away. This one looks a bit um, more like, like a cargo ship of some description, but we'll get a bit closer and see what it is. So, a little move. Move? I guess that's our little move. So this one is another colonial ship, which is a bit of a shame. So again, not something I want to steal, but again, you can do what you feel like you want to do. It's not probably worth that much money either. So we'll re-roll the autosave a few more times, and I'll see if I can get us a good ship. But essentially, this is just a re-roll system. I'm going to show you again, so hang around, a ship that we can steal, and I'm going to show you some really good tips and tricks on how to uh, use that steal as well. Stay tuned for that, and we'll find a good ship for us to steal. Okay, so we re-rolled. We had a starborn ship on that side, and we got a Crimson Fleet Haunt here. So we're just going to steal this one if we can, and we'll show you some of those tips and tricks. So firstly, you don't want to be shooting up the crew on the outside. You want to run straight into the ship and just ignore the crew. And the reason why you want to ignore them is if you do shoot them, there's a possibility that they will, the ship will take off, as it's doing now. It's taking off. So we're going to get a save in a few seconds. So this is quite a small ship. And only had the three crew. Alright, so some of the tricks that you can use on a ship like this is, say for example that your home ship is has a cargo that's full. I know mine is super full at the moment. So every time you get a new ship, you'll find that the cargo hold is relatively empty. And so you can move things into it. So if you're carrying a lot of gear or your companion is, take all that gear off them now and put it into the cargo hold. So when you do take over the ship, uh, doesn't really matter that your ship is, I guess, over or not, because you don't lose any of those items at all. Also, you'll notice that this ship has contraband, so just bear that in mind. There are two lots of contraband on this ship just there. Those items, if you just leave them there, will also get transferred into your uh, cargo hold when you change back to your main ship. Now, this ship took, out, took off into space, which was uh, a little bit annoying because what we would normally do is, if the ship was still on the surface of the planet, 
we would make it our home ship then I would exit the ship and then I would just go back to the other landing pad and reboard my ship that way you know you're staying in your home ship but we've had this happen so what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to sit in the seat I'm just going to grab these so I remember to get rid of them later and we will head back down to the planet and show you how that works now I will do another re-roll and because uh, I don't particularly want this ship I'll show you why being that I'm in space and I can't just go back to my old ship and I can't use the, the auto save unless I get rid of this ship this is only an A-class ship. It's not worth much money at all. It's only 67,000. We want that to be a lot higher. It's only going to reap us, uh, what, you know, luckily, luck, if we're lucky, you know, a couple, like, couple of thousand once we register it and stuff. Now, there are ways of skipping the registration fee. There is a little git glitch that you can use um, for that. I'm sure most of you already know about it. I have mentioned it in one of my other videos, but if, let me know if you don't know what that is, and I'll do a quick video or short on how to do that it's pretty straightforward and simple all right so we don't want this ship so i'm going to re-roll that auto save and we'll again try and get a different ship and uh, hopefully a little bit better this time okay we happen to have gotten the spacer hyena 2 so we're gonna again like i said just run straight in Hopefully this ship won't take off, so we'll clear this ship. Take what you must. Leave the rest for the scavengers. All right, we're just going to clear the ship. I just need to find the cockpit. Quite a lot of crew on this one, actually. Okay, it's a bit of a rabbit warren, this one. I'm trying to figure out where... Okay, that looks like they're back this way. It's got to be a... Another hatch, here we go. And we've got a weapons locker on this one, so sometimes we get lucky and we get some decent weapons on the racks. This time, probably not so lucky. That's all right. But we sometimes do find, you know, these have weapons in them or more, you know, weapons on the racks and stuff. So that is something to keep an eye out for. Alright, we've got, still got a few more people in here. Just double check this side and... Yeah, I'm not going to come down. Alright, we'll have to climb up.
All right, so we should have cleared the ship now. Yep, we get the signal to say we've cleared the ship. And I'll show you how we take this ship and make it our own, and then we can just go back to our old ship. So uh, where have we got over here? The cargo hold. There's no money in that one, but we do have... What have we got in here? So we have a epic helmet. So yeah, that's not anything terribly amazing. There's some credits in here, so we'll grab those. And let's take a look at our new ship. So we got a yeah much better ship this time. So you can see the value three hundred and seventy six thousand credits. So obviously that doesn't sell for that amount when you um, sell these ships. But um, we can make this our home ship. And I'll show you what I mean by the cargo hold too. You can see the cargo hold in the ship is 1,000, but I have 7,685 in my other ship. So it just piles on top. So that little trick in regards to transferring your cargo. Now we want to exit the ship now. And we will just find the landing pad that we were at before. Which is over there. And you can see my ship is still there in the distance. So we'll just head to that landing pad and voila there's our old ship we just need to basically board our old ship and make it our home ship and we can repeat and rinse this particular little uh i guess way of doing things use that auto save so what we would do now is we would uh grab our ship head back up into space pick a new landing spot and hopefully uh, well, obviously when we exit the ship we're going to get an auto save again and hopefully we get another ship landing and you can continually just keep re-rolling that auto save until you get the types of ships that you want and um, if you're like me I managed to get this claymore I've made a few changes to it and I'm not really into shipbuilding but I, so I kept this ship and it does and suits everything that I need our ship to do so yeah guys uh, this takes a little time to put these videos together so if this was helpful please smash that like button and consider subscribing again if you've got any tips that i missed uh, please mention them in the comments below and also again if you feel like that the ch you think there's better planets or moons you know uh please let me know but you can see this is a, a, a the ship that i just recently got is a pretty good ship if you have a look again at it it is a C-class ship, so it, I don't think it really matters what planet you're on. We are on a level 1 um, system, you can see. Level 1, not level 75, so this works anywhere. So just keep that in mind. And again, thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next video.